hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be creating this luxurious diamond tufting queen size headboard also i'll be adding wings to either side of the headboard to create an intimate and cozy escape for the customer to enjoy so guys without saying much more let's get right to the video now i'm doing a diamond tufted headboard so i'm using a six by six grid for each headboard, the measurement will be totally different. It will be based on the size of the headboard. After working out all the measurement and drawing the pattern on the board, I'm now placing the buttons in the correct position just to verify if the calculations were done correctly. I'm now marking the space for the buttons after which I'll drill the holes. I'm now cutting the foam for the board. I'll be using this adhesive spray to attach the foam to the board. I turned over the board so now I'm using some skewer sticks to transfer the holes to the sponge. Now I'm removing the sticks and I'm marking the areas on the sponge. Now I'm using a sponge hole cutter to drill the holes. I sprayed some silicone on the bit so that I can make the cut more smoother and cleaner. I'll share my Amazon associate link for all the tools that I'm using in the description down below. So if you'd like to purchase any of these materials, just click on the link. I'm cutting the foam at all the outer holes. When I'm doing the tufting, I'm gonna tuck the excess fabric in these spaces to create a pattern. Now I'm adding batting to give the finishing a soft and comfortable look and feel to the fabric.
I transfer the measurement on the back of the fabric. I'm using a grey suede fabric. Now I'm doing the tufting. There are various methods for tufting. You can use whichever suits you, depending on the project. I prefer to use the card to tuck in the fabric and when I'm finished, I'll add the buttons. Now I'm stapling the cord underneath in a zigzag position to secure the fabric. So guys this is day 2, this is how the tufting turned out. Now I'm going to fold over the fabric and staple. Now I'm working on the base of the headboard. I'll be creating a clean and seamless finish so that the wall behind the mattress will not show. Now I'm upholstering the leg. Now I'm attaching the legs to the side of the headboard. So this is how the headboard looks after the legs have been added. I'm just going to complete the upholstering on the legs after which I'll add the buttons.
Now I'm lying in the back. So guys, this is the final look. The headboard has been completed. If you'd like for me to make one of these headboards for you, my information is in the description down below. And you can also contact me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, help me out by hitting that like button. And also, if you're new around here, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye guys. I'll see you in the next one.